Today we take a look at Michigan signee Terrace Reed Jr. This is the Wolverine of On3 Sports, the best of college sports and recruiting. After his junior season, Reed was ranked somewhere between 70th and 80th in the country. But once he announced he was transferring to Link Prep to play a more national schedule with and against better competition, right away I said the increased exposure should boost his ranking to become a top 50 or even a top 40 player. Fast forward to the end of his senior season at Link, and the 6'10", 240-pound prospect is now the 34th best player overall and the number 6 center in the country via the On3 consensus. He has the prototype of a long-armed, mobile big, skilled in the post, with consistent 15-18 to 18 foot range. And I'm sticking to his player comparison I've had since day one, and that's former Xavier forward and NBA player David West. Strong, skilled big man, can attack off the bounce, can be physical in the post one possession, and then provide some spacing on the next. Reed ended up committing to Michigan during the summer of 2021 and ended up signing on November 10th. You know me, I love good measurables. Let's take a look at Terrace Reed's measurables here. This is where he has physical strengths and advantages you just can't teach. Physical gifts to help him be impactful on both ends of the court. He has big mitts. Really big hands to get his hand on the basketball for blocks, deflections, able to pull down strong rebounds. He's about 6'10", around 240, and you'll see his explosiveness and athleticism get to another level when he's in a college weight room. His wingspan is very impressive, 7'4", or 7'5". Anytime the wingspan is at least 6 inches longer than his height, the NBA scouts will consider that elite length. Shooting was one of the parts of his game that surprised me a year ago. His ability to hit spot up threes and face up jump shots seamlessly. He's still fully capable of doing these things at 6'10 with the high consistent release. Now he's more comfortable getting into a shot with more contact, turning over either shoulder from 12 to 15 feet on the block and hitting the shot. As a right-handed player, going into a post move where you have to turn around and shoot it over your left shoulder is one of the hardest shots to do, and Reed is able to do it in the game with contact. You're not fully square, so this requires high-level body control to adjust in mid-air with perfect timing on the shot release. Even though he has a dependable jumper, he doesn't settle with threes and long twos. He's added shooting off the dribble. You saw he loves attacking baseline, and I like this counter where he goes baseline, and if he gets cut off, he has the body control and the natural progression to spin back middle and elevate for a little seven to nine foot jump shot. He's also gotten better attacking the basket. He's shown the same type of patience when putting the ball on the deck, but he has more authority and conviction now. I like the way he's aggressive and uses his size to his advantage. He has clips of going full court, weaving in between guards, still with his body in full control. He's not afraid to get aggressive, lower his shoulder under control and attacking the rim. He's comfortable with facing up against any type of defender, no matter where he is on the basketball court. When he faces up below the wing and free throw line extended, and he feels he has an advantage, he loves going baseline after a jab step or a quick sweep to get downhill. Once he drives baseline, he uses his big frame to shield the defense from the basketball. It's pretty impressive getting to the basket with contact and limited dribbles, usually one or two. And with even more growth and development, he'll be able to operate in more mid-range isolations, similar to how the Knicks let Julius Randle operate at 18 feet. They clear out and let him do his thing. His ability to score on the interior has also gotten better, not just with training and working out, but with maturity, getting older, smarter, allowing his body to catch up to his skill set. He's more confident in his body and his skill level to finish at the basket when there's a drop off pass from a guard or a quick flash to the paint. He's also gotten better on the block, feeling where the defense is before going over either shoulder to get to the basket for a lay in, hook shot or quick put in. He'll make these moves off the entry pass or one dribble drop step off of either foot for an easy two. Overall, he's improved in the areas that were some of his bigger weaknesses. He'll continue to change and improve his body over time. And this year at Link Prep, he was able to make a statement, letting scouts know he's one of the top big men in the country. 
With Hunter Dickinson coming back to Michigan, this will further Reed's growth going head-to-head -head against the All-American in practice and in workouts. And remember, he's pretty mobile with a dependable jump shot. If he can show he can guard multiple positions, do not be shocked or surprised if he plays alongside Dickinson in some stretches at the power forward spot this upcoming season.